Hey little birds, so it's Sparrow and welcome back to another installment of Just Say No, your weekly anti haul series. And this week we've got a lot of collabs to be talking about, so let's get started, shall we? First one up is the Too Faced X Nikki Tutorials collab palette called The Power of Makeup. It is a set with nine eyeshadows, two blushes, one bronzer, one highlighter. One glittery silver pigment, a deluxe size of the Better Than Sex Mascara and Limited Edition Purple, a deluxe size of their primer, and a full size of their new sketch liner. Do you know how hard that was to say? Anyway, the palette is kind of eh. Like, it has two browns, a lot of shimmery light colors, a baby pink, a deep teal, a deep purple, and a black. The blushes are from the heart shaped blush collection I will always love you and justify my love a peach and a pink respectively and the chocolate sole bronzer it's mildly black girl friendly because the blushes are okay and about six of the six of the nine shades are okay the bronzer is not okay because well personally I use dark chocolate sole so I need a darker bronzer this probably won't eat, will barely sculpt me and champagne truffle the highlighter is eh. It looks like a light pink highlighter that I would not wear. That's my personal opinion, but I feel like it's just not going to, if you, unless you're lighter and you don't have a lot of eyeshadow and you really like Too Faced, you really like Nikki Tutorials, then you'll buy this, but otherwise it's very unlikely. The glim, the sh shimmer glitter pigment that's going on there is uh, silver and, well, I mean it's probably really interesting. But I, the only thing I really want is that the look size better than Sex Mascara. Just can I buy that by itself and support Nikki, please? No? Okay. On to the next one. The Kat Von D X Too Faced. Again. And collaboration palette. And set, honestly. On it, when we first saw it and we saw it closed, we are like, oh my god, it's going to be amazing. It's going to have eyeshadows or something's in there. And it's going to come with a full size, better than Sex Mascara in the original condition. And the tattoo liner in Trooper, you know, the staples. And then they opened it. And it's six eyeshadows on each for each brand. And on the Too Faced side, you get a, like, white bone kind of color. A baby pink. And then some frost, and then I think everything over there is frosty except for the bone color where it's a gold, like a bronzy copper gold, some kind of like antique gold, um, a light, uh, deep brown with glitter and a black with glitter. And then on the Kat Von D side you have a white, some kind of peach color, like a light pale peach color, frosty silver, red, gray, matte gray, matte black. On Kat Von D side, we have what looks to be the smoke quad with a couple with a shimmer and a red. And on the Too Faced side, we're getting a lot of the same fucking colors that we get in a lot of their palettes, and that is really, really disappointing for a lot of us because this is a real, supposed to be a really cool collab with two brands that are really cool and they make really great products. And what the fuck happened here? I mean, Too Faced should have been like, we're going to sprinkle some chocolate in this bitch. And Kat's like, we're going we gonna to put tattoo designs all over this bitch. And it's going to be bomb as fuck. And instead, we it looks like they came up with their own two palettes. Said, tap here, it's magnetic. We can stick together. Boom, collab. No, that's not how this works. There looks to be that there's going to be a smaller version of the collab with blushes from Too Faced and liquid lipsticks from Kat. And the packaging will have pictures of their respective pets, Piaf for Kat's packaging and Jared Bondino's Chihuahua, whose name I don't remember at the moment. Honestly, this collaboration came off really underwhelming and that's really, really disappointing right now because a lot of people were expecting it to be, you know, really insanely good. Um, Tarte and Style by Hrush, Hrush, I'm sorry if I said it wrong, a, I don't even know who she is, but apparently there's a collaboration. Unfortunately, it's, it looks like any other Tarte palette, but it's really small. It looks like it's really small and transportable. Comes with a pale bone shade, a pale pink, a nice little purple, a peach, a very light peach color, a brown, and a taupey purple, and a large, large pan of a peachy blush. 
Honestly, it'd be a cute ass travel palette, but it's not really, it does not look brown girl friendly at all unless you like wearing lighter colors, but then you have no dark, really dark transitional colors to work with to give your eye a lot more dimension. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching Just Say No. Please leave a like or a comment letting me personally know how you feel about this series. I'm trying to wait later and later in the week to do the actual filming and recording because stuff starts popping up late. I did Wednesday and then shit popped up and I missed it that week. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. If you really like this series or any of my other series, because I'm here most of the week except Sunday and Thursday, subscribe! Be a little, be a sweet bird. Be, be my friend. And I'll see you guys, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.